welcome back to my channel welcome back i have eye bags i wasn't born like this so this thing just wants to spoil i wasn't born like this there's a story behind these eye bags maybe one day i'll share it i wasn't born like this and i've been looking for a very good eye cream or eye serum to use but hmm, I got anyways welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back to watch this beautiful video of mine i'm going to film this video with a whole lot of love and i want you to watch it and ignore every error side distraction background noise quality right now we're just having fun we're going to come around soon i'll come around soon have more time in editing and making it more attractive making it more attractive so thank you for coming back for subscribing for watching for everything you do right thank you so i'm just going to talk this particular gist conversation discussion it's just targeted at some people like me some beautiful people with special degree like me <laughs> So this is just a word of encouragement from me to you as you embark on that NYSC journey. So um, I went to Federal Polytechnic naked there because I was tired of sitting in the house. Seriously, I was tired of sitting. Maybe if I was patient one more year, something good, I would have gone to uni. But I was just tired of sitting, so I wrote Jam, Field Uni, uh, Field Uni. I made sure, as in, I made up my mind that this was going to be the last time I'll be writing this Jam. Like I've written it, I think two times or three times already. I think that was the total time, and I was tired. I didn't want to write again. I was tired, so I wrote Jam. I filled my uni. I wrote all the the post me for all the schools polytechnic called me first okay okay i wrote uh, yes my name came out in the polytechnic and i went i had the polytechnic i didn't want to think about it i went ahead paid my acceptance fee and all that acceptance fee and all that comes with it, with the registration clearance screening i went in and i did five years and I came out, they gave me HND certificate, which was expected. Yeah, in school, meanwhile in school, a friend of mine, a senior colleague, one day we were just talking in my room and she told me, have you not been thinking about what next you're going to do when you leave school? I was like, of course, I'm, I, I'm not a business person. I'm not business oriented. And um, I'm an office girl, office kind of girl, a career kind of woman. I'm doing this course because that was just what I took. I just filled it. When I graduate, I just I want a good job in a good place, a good company where I can grow in. Even if I'm going to be trained, no problem. I'm going to be trained to do what they do. I'm going to be, I'm going to be you know, lecture and all that. I'm just, and then I can chase a career in that part. Just, I'm a career kind of girl. I'm not a business woman. I'm, I don't, I'm not business oriented at all. Nothing, I'm not, no, 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 no. So she was like, hmm, I think you should look into business. So I said, I know why. She said, because you have an HND, you will be having HND degree. That is what you'll be having. You won't, as in, and it is not so sweet in the outside world. You'll be having an HND degree. You know, I'm just playing back that time and I was wondering what I was really thinking. Why didn't I listen to her? Instead, I was listening, I was listening to my head. At least I would have braced up and I wouldn't have, and adjusted my shock absorber, absorber. I won't have it. Will, this, this, what I'm about to say won't have hit me so hard like it did, like a heartbreak. 
So she spoke and spoke and I was just serious and I knew what I wanted. It wasn't business. And that was it. She graduated, went to serve. I graduated too, chose Delta State. I was given Delta State, Isia Luku Camp. I went to Isia Luku Camp. And that was where I experienced the first discrimination. We were told HND this way, BSC this way. Yeah, yeah. So I stood there and was wondering why. As I was asking people around, why did they just, why did they tell us to go here and there? Why? <laughs> the girl laughed. I was just laughing, said, Yeah, that's discrimination now. You've been discriminated, your degree HND is nothing. Nothing. You've been discriminated, it's not really accepted and all that. Like I was asking questions a Nigerian shouldn't ask. Where was I? Where did I grow up? Was I not listening to the news? Or was I not I wasn't looking around or seeing things that were happening? I was asking questions in as in even before the guy even uh, answered me, said he looked at me like where did you school? Seriously. So those people were going, you know, they were networking now. BSC, BSC people, HND, HND people. Ah, I felt bad though. I was discriminated. I felt so bad. Like I was now wondering, what did these people do that I didn't do in my school? Was it waking up? It was it burning candles from 8 a.m. till 4 p. 4, 8, 8 p.m. till 4 a.m. Then you sleep for like 30 minutes take your bath and go to school and write your exam. Every time, I and my friends will gather in my room or I go to theirs and we read overnight. We struggled, like this one is not, uh, polytechnic is easy. There was nothing easy about it. Or was it the same lecturer harassment and all that that these university people do that was not going on? I said, it was the same thing, like I, I even, I. I asked my friends, how was it what happened? What was what what did you do? I wanted to know what they did differently. So I can understand, okay, these people are really special. This this degree, not the people, this degree is really special. The same thing, same grade, same course outline. We even we were in, we were practically in the laboratory every day, but they were not. We were, all, we were always one practical to another. We were in the lab, we were in lab coat. All, all my pictures in school, lab coat, lab coat. But they were not. We were working extremely hard. We did everything, everything. Carry over, we, did, we had to. Not that, okay, naked, um, polytechnics don't usually have, they always pamper, they pamper their students, they usually don't have carryovers and um, repeats. There is repeats. You will repeat a class if you don't get up to a certain grade. I check it's the same grade. Then why are you discriminating? I'm digressing. So we, um, I did not. Some of my friends I made like my bunk, uh, yeah, bunky. She registered that day. I didn't because our line was so slow. The HND line was slow. So we, I did not register that day. I don't want to take it to heart, but that was my first discrimination. After NYC, I came back to Lagos. Okay, oh, let me get the job. Hmm? I got the job. Yeah, it is easy, oh. I got the job. Where I am now. I got the job, you know. Walking, I had fun, I was happy, very, very happy. Then I said, let me even look around for another job you know let's see let's let's just look around you know let's just look around and see what the outside world looks like because because of for some certain reasons i just wanted another one that was when it hit me so bad it hit me so bad 
I was not ready. I was not ready at all. I wasn't ready. I was not told. I met someone. I was like, okay, no problem. Send your CV. I will set up a test for you by January. I was like, okay, good. At least new job, new year. Bigger money and all that. I sent. And the next day, he said, I want to see you privately. I was like, what happened? He said, no, no, nothing, nothing. <laughs> nothing. I just want to see you privately. Let's just talk. Please forgive all this background noise. Let's just talk. Okay. I said, no problem. We... We saw. We discussed. <laughs> I was not ready for what he told me. Seriously, I was not ready because as he was telling me that tears were coming down my eyes. He told me that his company, they don't accept HND. But you just told me now that I will be perfect for the job. That this, this like, I'm what they want. I'm what they're expecting. I'm what they want. That I'll be perfect for it. Then what has my degree got to do with my job, what, with what I can do, what I can offer. You said I'll be trained. I agreed. I'll be trained. I will start from being a trainee. Yes, that's okay. Then I was even, you know, thinking, okay, maybe I could just go through this path. Set, um, get, um, derive, just go through this path. Get a career in this, in this building, in this business, in this company and now you come to break my heart by telling me that we don't accept that they don't accept a change man i was hot though i was hot i got really interested i was i forgot about that but i got really interested i wanted to know more so i kept on searching and i kept on hearing the same thing December wasn't nice for me at all. I did not do that in December. I thought I was just jumping up and down. I think the only thing I did was go to the beach one day and then went back home. This is December came. I was walking. I was walking and feeling bad and thinking, this is not what I want. I did everything a student should do. And what a uni student did in school, I did, I did everything and more. And I cannot get a, I'm looking around, I can't get anything because I have a paper that is written higher national diploma. Just, this is my offense. I'm ranting, I'm, 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 I'm also making this about me. This is not about me. This video is not about me at all. This video is for those of you that are going to come this year march my prayers are with you don't be scared have an open mind so that you can so you can take anything that is being thrown at you that will be thrown at you because it will be thrown at you I asked some of my friends, I even thought it was only my camp it happened. I asked some of my friends and they said, yes, it happened in their camp. And that was an eye-opener for them. Uh, really. It wasn't only me, Seth. So, um, what would I say? So, just brace up, seriously. Just be strong. Go to camp. Be open-minded. Before they even tell you to shift, before they start discriminating, just ask them or just behave yourself. Just stay on the line really, that you feel okay. Maybe stay on the left hand side because they change will be on the left left hand side. Then BSC will be on this side. So I dwelled in that pain for like a month. And in the new year, I just told myself, see, you cannot continue this way. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I dwelled in my pain for like a month and this year I had to just see units you cannot keep dwelling 
you have to come out of this you have to come out of this look at here that's where the camera is you have to come out of this and get a solution look for a solution i realized that my solution from every counseling i've had because it didn't really affected me or that people were really talking to me and saying people were really talking to me like talking to me and advising me like some said who knows you might meet one well connected person now and they will bring you in and you will not even need a bsc anymore and they were comforting me with even some bsc said do not have jobs but you do so do not stop worrying stop worrying about nigeria so they were really people were just talking so me i just decided okay to get what i really want i need to work for it right and here's my solution go back to school get an h h what get a bsc or you have a business <laughs> which i don't know i don't know seriously or travel abroad options and um i'll still keep praying and hoping that something come around you know something will come around and all that so please to my hnd graduate you did not commit any offense the problem is not you it is what you are holding i hnd that's the only problem it's what you are holding seriously so go to camp with an open mind don't feel discriminated okay don't feel don't feel it don't feel don't feel that way just i felt that way because i was not warned it, it hit me i did not prepare for it so now i'm telling you i've experienced it for you and i'm telling you hmm? don't feel discriminated just go it is not your fault i know most of you wrote down for like 10 years and before you decided to just take that polytechnic uh whatever invitation so um it's not your fault just um go with an open mind and be prayerful you know you'll be favored like me i'm still praying You'll be favored you find favor and be happy and um and you know after the discrimination you know the solution either you want to go back to school or something you know you just have to sit you cannot dwell in that your pain sit and figure out something i tell you i'm thinking of either going back to school or something but i'm open for suggestions open for advice open for anything at all so um thank you for watching my video Thank you so much don't let your pain don't dwell in that pain get a solution there is always a solution for anything at all that's one thing i tell myself don't dwell in that pain for too long just get the solutions don't complain for too long get a solution yeah so once i'm waiting for one or two things then i'll just go back to school so be fine be good be prayerful be open-minded and um, be happy yeah be happy what is in you is greater than that certificate you're holding that's it this certificate i'm even i'm not even using it what i even read in school isn't what i'm doing here you see so um i'm trying to end this video with a uh, word of encouragement to those that will be going to come or those that watch this video and start thinking don't think of your life oh. just breeze up and get a solution and be good be happy you know just just accept it you're in nigeria you're in nigeria that's our cross we bear it so be good have an open mind all the hnd graduates have an open mind who knows it just might be different it might even favor you like i'm hoping it does for me yeah seriously I, i'm really hoping it does for me so um you might just get uh, yeah yeah so be good and have fun enjoy the rest of your week we have today's monday we have four more days left i'm counting down so have fun and forgive all of my errors grammatical errors every kind of errors this type of errors now that noise yeah please forgive it i'm having fun with the fuming all this and um, we'll come around 
to give it more quality and all that with time will come around so thank you so much for watching have a great week ahead bye 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 i said bye bye bye